headed out on a hike to get a better view of the city. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So if you guys haven't seen Sam Calder's new video, it's called A Week in Brazil, you should go and watch it. But there's a bit in it where he does this really cool transition with a tree. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it. It's actually really easy and it's really simple. Obviously, I don't really have any footage at the moment because I'm pretty much stuck indoors with a broken foot. So this is the transition right here. And we headed out on a hike to get a better view of the city. So as you can see, he uses this tree right here just to mask into the next clip. Now basically, I'm just going to be replacing this clip. Um, I have my clip here. Basically, I don't have much footage, so I'm just using what I have on my computer. Uh, but I'm just going to replace this clip. And if you can see, I won't actually do this because I didn't need to, it's already done in his video. But if you can see at the start, just before we go into this transition, he actually speeds it up. And basically, that's going to make it a lot quicker to do mask and it looks pretty sick. So um, I'll just quickly show you how to speed it up. Um, so basically what you want to do is just find the point in your video where you want to speed it up. If you come over to the little FX bit here, left click, timely mapping and speed, and then make this a little bit bigger, and then hit P on the keyboard for the pen tool, and basically just kind of find the point just before, so as you can see it speeds up right here, so if we just, so basically all you need to do is click on this white line, and that's gonna add a keyframe in. And then all you need to do after that is just select this little line here and drag it up to however fast you want it. So if we hit play now, as you can see, it goes super fast. So it's gonna be a little bit quicker to um, transition into the tree and it's gonna be a little bit less masking out. Um, and to make this even smoother, you've got these two little points right here. Select this and just drag it out. And basically what that's gonna do is when it speeds up, it's gonna make it a little bit more gentle so it looks a little bit nicer. So we hit play now, as you can see it sort of speeds up into it. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Obviously I don't actually need this, so we could just go ahead and we can delete this because it's already been sped up. But once you've speeded the clip up, what you want to do is come to wherever your tree is. So basically to do this effect, what you want to do is select your clip, come to the effect control, come to the opacity and select this little pen tool. And now what you can do is you can draw a mask down the side of the tree. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it like that. It hasn't got to be perfect because this is, is a tutorial for me. And mask all the way around. Make sure you close it up like this. So another thing I just forgot to say is to make this a little bit easier. If you come to this and press the option key and drag this up, and then you've duplicated it. Just make sure you delete the mask off the bottom clip and then you can basically see through and it makes it so much easier to mask out. So let's not worry about feathering it right now. All we need to do is keyframe this. So come to the mask path, hit the keyframe button and make sure you've got the mask selected. And now basically you just need to go through each frame and I'm just gonna highlight all of these like that and then drag this over to here so it lines up with the tree. You might need to adjust a few of these a little bit. So next frame, select all of these again and drag this to the tree. As you can see, it's a little bit of a different shape now, so we just need to go through and adjust each keyframe. Just like that, that should be fine to be fair. So I'm gonna skip through this and then I'll be right back. So once you've done one side, it should look a little bit like this. When you flick through the frames, it should follow it. And now we just gotta do the exact same for the start of the clip. So again, if we just select all these, and then just drag them over to the tree and then you're just gonna have to go through and then you're just gonna have to go through and reposition a few of the points to line up with the tree. Go back another frame and do the same thing and I'll be right back once I've done that. Okay, so now that I've done that, if we just select this bottom layer and delete it, when we play through this, it's basically gonna play a blank screen. So one thing you wanna do is just make sure you come to the mask and hit the inverted button so you're actually masking out the right bit. And then all you need to do now is select the clip you want to transition into. So my clip is here. And then if we hit play, it will look a little bit like this. Now obviously I'm just gonna quickly add some cinematic bars right here so it gets rid of this mask on the bars that were already in the video. So now if we hit play on this little video, we should have something that looks a little bit like this. So as you can see, it's not super perfect in everywhere. I think we can make this little line here a little bit nicer. If we select this and come over to the mask feather 
and you don't actually have to come to these little settings here you can just use this thing and if we just expand that and then expand it a little bit closer to the tree and now we should be able to hit play and it should look really nice as you can see it looked pretty seamless right there and we headed out on a hike to get a better view of the city Obviously this clip doesn't really match the scene before it, but it's just an example to explain to you guys how to do it. Sam Calder actually uses this technique in every video he does, so now you know how to do it. Hopefully this video helped you out, if it did hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.